what's up inflatable enthusiast here and today's review is on the jemmy 2006 six foot long crashed witch airblown inflatable um so i got this off of mercari for about 66 or seven dollars um it showed up about two weeks ago uh i wouldn't say it was really an impulse buy but i saw it and i said to myself hmm this thing's pretty cool and i've never seen it before and it looked to be in great condition um in the photos so and it was very cheap like i said i only got this for le i got this for less than 70 bucks so i was like you know what i got some extra cash lying around um so i picked it up and uh yeah it just came to me a few days ago see here's the front of the box here at the top right corner air balloon inflatable uh left corner sorry boo and then a uh, crashed witch over six feet long lights up animated witch kicks legs so as you'll see here in the image there's a pumpkin and then there's a witch crashed into the pumpkin her legs kick back and forth and it looks really cool i have already inflated this by the way and it, it does look really nice jemmy logo weatherproof everything included self-inflates in seconds for indoor and outdoor use i cannot show this side because it has my shipping label on it the seller unfortunately just shipped it in this box there was no brown box covering it um, so when this arrived on my front porch, I could literally see the inflatable inside the box because as you can see, it's not in the greatest condition. Um, but the inflatable is not damaged. It luckily did not get damaged in, uh, you know, through the delivery process. Um, but I was a little worried when it came on the, on, in the mail like this. Um, but yes, yeah, so there's the top of the box. It has like a very cool... So the front of the box has the green, the sides have the red, and the top has the red. But it's like a cool, like, smoky kind of background. And then behind the image of the inflatable, there's like a haunted mansion and some bats and stuff. And it looks awesome. So here's the side. The other side is the same, but like I said, I can't show it. Um, then here's the back of the box. It's the same image. Animated witch kicks legs. Same uh, one, two, three setup. Zip up air balloon. Plug into... They, they always put that on the old Jemmy boxes. That's what it includes. 2006 Jemmy Industries. Um, and if you are looking at this image, yes, this inflatable does have a non-foldable base fan, which is unfortunate, but um, I don't mind it too much. It's just a little harder to store them. And if it breaks, you can't fix it. Like if a base fan leg breaks, the foldable ones, you can just buy a new hinge or a new leg and snap it back and attach it but when these base fan legs break it's permanently broken because the plastic has broken um so that is a slight downside of this inflatable but it hasn't broken yet uh it takes a few years for them to break so it's not that big of a deal but i'll just jump right into it see the top has the carry handle most old jemmy boxes used to have that here's the inflatable so i'm going to take this out and i'll be right back so before I inflate it, I'm just going to show you the base fan and stuff. So here's the fan. As you can see, it looks very interesting. Um, it's just a spiral, and there's nothing really coming off. There's like this tiny little nub right here. But usually, you know, the Jemmy fans are circular, and then, um, you know, it comes off right here. But it's not. So I've never seen a fan like this before. It's very, very interesting. Um, I'd say this fan is similar power to a YEF-60. I don't think as good as an 80, but similar to a 60. Um, here's part of the animation fan. I guess this is how, I guess this is the timer for it to go on and off. And then here's another part of it. I, I don't know how it works, but here's the whole thing itself. Here's some wires and stuff. I'll show you the witch's animation fan in a second, but yeah, here's the normal base fan for it. It looks very cool. Um, and then here's the non-foldable stand. Um, as you can see, the legs do not move. Uh, they're not as sturdy as the normal base fan foldable ones are, but it's not that big of a deal. There's also an air pocket somewhere around here. Let's see if I can find it. Obviously for the animation fan to get air or else it doesn't work. Um, it might take me a second to find this real quick. Okay, so actually it seems like this air pocket isn't connected to anything. Um, so I'm not exactly sure why it's there, but I'm 90% sure it's for the animation. But, uh, yeah, it's very tiny, too. This is probably, like, I can't really compare it to anything, but it's, it's small. Um, and I'll go get the witch's fan as well. 
So here's the Witcher's animation fan. As you can see, it's not like a typical animation fan, like those white ones um, that have like the, the four, like these coming out of them. Uh, it's a black spiral. Uh, it's very strange. I don't actually know how this one works, but I know it's connected to both of her legs and it inflates them uh, on and off to make them kick back and forth. Um, looks like there's a tiny little hole here and the stitching's coming off, but that's not that big of a deal. But, yeah, there's a zipper connected to it, and there's some wires and stuff. But, uh, yeah, sorry, this is like a very, this is an old inflatable. I've never seen anything like this mechanism, so I can't exactly sp explain how it works. Like, with my hugging moose, I was able to explain how the mechanism worked because it's newer and it was easier to figure it out. But this is just very confusing. Like, what does this inflate? I don't know. I think this just takes air, but I'm not sure. Um, and on the inside, it doesn't feel like there's anything either. I'll unzip this and show you in a second. Yeah, and see, on the inside, it's just like, it looks like a Jemmy Cheap fan. So, like, one of the older ones. Uh, so it's very, very strange. I, I have no idea how this works. Uh, and I, I apologize that I can't explain it, but, um, I'm just letting you see it. So yeah, here it is. Uh, I'll go plug this in and inflate it now. Okay, so I'm gonna plug this thing in and inflate it right now, but, um... I'm not going to do like a full video of the inflation because this thing does take a while to inflate. The fan is pretty powerful, but there's like a whole part of the pumpkin at the bottom to sort of like give it a base. And that constantly covers up the fan and restricts air from getting into it. So for pretty much the whole time it inflates, I'm going to have to hold it up uh, so the fan can get air. Um, and that's just going to be a terrible camera angle for me to film. So I'm going to plug this in. It'll start inflating and then it'll just cut to it completely. Um... So yeah. But the fan, like I said, is pretty powerful. So if it didn't get blocked by the uh, the fabric, as you can see, this thing is already inflated very fast. And this is not thin at all. There's no thin spots on this. But I don't know if you can hear that. See, the fabric got caught on the fan. Um, actually, it's already almost completely inflated, so I don't think I'll have to cut this is good only take about 10 more seconds I think yeah it inflates very fast um, I'm worried about this thing when it's actually in my display though because I won't be able to actually go out there and help it every single day um, so it may take a long time when it's actually out in my yard but yeah so now it's done so here it is, the lick, uh, witch's legs should start in a second. Yeah, I don't know what the second one is, hold on. Okay, it's stuck inside of the inflatable, so there we go. All right, so here it is. As you can see, it looks very nice. The witch's legs don't move as fast as I had hoped, but if they go much fast, if they go any faster than this, it would just not look good because, you know, it has, as you can see, the way they work is there's these little pockets right here that inflate and deflate, and that makes that part of the leg go up, and then when it deflates, see in a second, it goes down. So if that was any faster, um, this thing probably wouldn't inflate completely, and then the witch's legs would barely move at all. But I mean, it looks nice like this. It's not too slow either. Um, so yeah, I think the animation is pretty good. And then there's her hat right there on the other side of the pumpkin. And the pumpkin's facial expression is easily one of my favorite parts of this inflatable besides the animation. Um, I just love the face of the pumpkin. It's not, it's not a typical, uh, pumpkin face. I don't think they ever use this design on any other pumpkin inflatable. So it's unique and it looks very cool. He has sort of like crescent moon shaped eyes. He just has circles for a mouth and a nose. It's very simple, but it's it gets his expression right. Um, he seems very surprised that a witch obviously just crashed right into him. Um, and I like it. it. It gives a whole like vintage kind of classic Jemmy vibe, but also that vintage Halloween kind of vibe. I like it. I like it a lot. Then as you can see, the witch's broom, the handle is, or the stick is yellow. In the bottom right there is brown. Um, it's also stitched at a few different places. One there, uh, one right there on her hand. 
and then one there. So it stays on pretty good. The stem of the pumpkin is just brown. I'm actually kind of glad that it's not green because it's a little more realistic looking uh, and the green would just look weird. It would be the same color as the witch's uh, legs. Um, then the witch's hat right here. It's black with a purple strap and a gold buckle. So yeah, but as you can see, there's like the sort of the base of the pumpkin. I don't know why they put that extra base. They could have just had the pumpkin by itself and then the base fan underneath it. But I'll go around the back here and show you. That's where the base fan is under there. So that's pretty much where the base fan gets air. So that's why it took so long to inflate and that's why I had to hold it up because it's only getting air from that tiny little hole. Other than that, this is covering the ground, so. Yeah, I don't know why they chose to do that. Um, but it's fine, I guess. It doesn't look weird or anything, so. Um, it just prevents the fan from getting as much air. Uh, see, there is a little bit of damage I noticed when I inflated it right here. There's some sort of deteriorating or rip right here on the witch's arm. I just took a little uh, clear patch and put it on the inside, so now there's no air coming out. It didn't affect the inflation before I fixed it, but I just didn't want the rip getting any bigger or getting even more damaged. Um, so, yeah, and I want this and I want this thing to inflate as good as possible. So I didn't want any air leaking through. Not that there was much air leaking through, anyways. It just, you know, I just wanted to fix it. Um, but yeah, as you can see, it inflates pretty tightly. Um, it's like I said, it's not thin. I can't see any thin spots on this at all. Uh, so I think I got an amazing deal on this. You know, like I paid I paid 67 or $68. Can't remember exactly. Um, but it was $60. The extra 7 or $8 was from the shipping. So I think this was very fairly priced. Um, because if this was any more than that, like $80, 90 even $100, I honestly wouldn't say it's worth it. It's an awesome design. The animation is cool. But other than that, it's very small, it's very simplistic. So unless it did something like, you know, unless it had more animation than just that, I wouldn't say it's worth more than like $90. Um, but it is a cool design. So yeah, I'll go turn the lights off um, in a second, but I also wanna show you the tether loops. It just has two on either side, one here, and then one over here under the witch's arm. And I also like how the arm, there's another arm behind the inflatable, even though you literally cannot see it from the front. Um, they actually put the arm there, which is cool. Um, but yeah, I believe this thing has like five or six C7s on it. So I'll go turn the lights off real quick. Okay, so here it is in the dark and it has five C7s in it. I just counted. Um, I'll just show you real quick. So there's one there, there, there here and like right here by the witch so as you can see the pumpkin lights up fantastic it's not just bright on camera it is really bright in person as well so the pumpkin lights up great but the witch not so much um i mean her whole body is black from her uh cloak or her robe i guess you could say but um you can't see her legs like at all unfortunately because that's the main you know part of the inflatable is the animated legs um, but you cannot see them. There's no lights in them, uh, and they're very dark, so, but I think it's mainly because I'm in my basement right now, you know, the whole other room is, the whole rest of the room is dark. I think if I put this, when it's out in my display, and it's surrounded by other inflatables and surrounded by lights, I think those will shine on this, and you'll be able to see it, uh, when it's in my display, but just normally by itself, you cannot see the witch's legs. Uh, you can sort of see her hat, um, but yeah, other than that though, it lights up really good. Uh, the stem you can you can see, you can definitely see the pumpkin. The pumpkin lights up great. Um, so yeah, I recommend this inflatable if you can find it. I'm assuming it's very rare. I've never seen any of these guys show up for sale, nor have I ever seen one on a YouTube video or anything. I had never ever seen this inflatable before the listing showed up. So I'm assuming it's rare. Um, correct me if I'm wrong though. But if one of these does show up for sale and you want it, I wouldn't spend more than $75, $80 on it. Any more than that, um, 
it's honestly too much because like i said even though the animation is cool and the design is cool it's very small and that's the only thing it does is the witch's legs kick so i wouldn't say it's more than 80 80 dollars um but if you can get it for less than that definitely pick it up if you want it because it's cool um but yeah so i think that's pretty much it i'm the inflatable enthusiast and i'll see you guys next time i should be making a few fourth of july reviews uh within the next week or so so stick around for that um so yeah see ya